Hello. Songbirds often rely on streams for their habitat. The area where a stream meets the forest is known as the riparian zone. A common inhabitant of the riparian zone is the American rock. So this is a stuffed animal of the American robin. Their scientific name is Tortoise migratorius. Here I have a robin's nest. It's an example of what we call a cup nest, which kind of looks like a bolt. They're often made out of twigs, and grass, and mud. Sometimes they're even lined with moss and other soft items. So, females typically lay three to five bluish eggs. They're blue because of the mother's blood, hemoglobin. So both parents will take turns guarding the nest and going out and finding food for the babies. It'll take upwards of two weeks for the babies to be ready to fledge or leave the nest. Once they leave the nest, they're still dependent on their parents to help teach them uh, how to be independent, how to find food, and, and be ready to live on their own. The average American robin lives somewhere around five or six years. American robin, a very cool example of a watershed songbird. While many songbirds stay for the winter, the American robin will migrate or leave the area. For many people, their return signifies the start of spring. Sometimes while mi migrating, robins can get blown off course and can end up in areas where they typically don't belong, even as far as Europe. So the parents will work together. One parent will guard the nest while the other parent goes out and looks for food. The parent on the nest will keep a sharp lookout for any predators that might be around. Nests that are built too low to the ground or out in the open could be vulnerable to predators. This nest is very well placed. It's like 15 feet high and sheltered. Something were to happen to the eggs or the chicks, the 
parents will try again and they'll have a new clutch of eggs in just a few weeks. So robins are omnivores, which means they eat a variety of foods, both plants and meat. Um, their primary food are insects, worms, things of that nature, but they will also eat um, berries, seeds, nuts, fruit, and so forth. Their voice box is called the syrinx, and it allows them to sing all day long for hours. Um, you'll start hearing robins singing early in the morning often all day long. They sing for a couple of reasons. One is to stake out their own territory and to warn other species and other kinds of robins that this is their area. And they also sing to attract a mate. This is what the robin call sounds like. Okay, you can pause. Being a bird parent is hard work. Like people, spouses will give each other a break. This robin just got a bath in the stream and is drying off. Cleaning and smoothing out feathers is called preening. The tortidae family includes 180 species, all of which are thrushes. Like the cardinal and the bluebird, the robin is one of the most popular and often used state birds. The males and females look very similar. Like most birds, the males have slightly brighter plumage.
After 14 days, the fledglings are so big that they can barely fit in the nest. Oof. All that growing is hard work. Fledglings are getting really big now. They're starting to spread their wings and practice flapping them. They'll be ready to fly soon. After feeding the fledglings, the parents keep the nest clean by removing what's called a waste sack. They'll take the waste sack far away from the nest so as not to attract predators. Songbirds rely on streams for their habitat. Good. <laughs> so while many songbirds stay all winter long, the robin migrates or leaves the area. They're known as the harbinger of spring because when they show up toward the end of winter, Many birds will stay all winter long, but not the robin. They migrate, and, which means they leave the area every winter. When we start seeing robins in, in springtime, that means it's going to be springtime. No. Um, I'm going to put this on record, so want to say that again? No. Because she's respectful and doesn't bust my chop. Um, uh, it's undocumented now. What? How should I say that part? Um. <laughs> So this is a stuffed animal of an American robin. Their scientific name is Tardis migratorius. They're named after the European swallow. <laughs> so this is a stuffed animal of the American robin. Their scientific name is Tardis 